Hi guys, welcome to the next tutorial. Um, I'm going to be doing another Pi game tutorial today, and uh, so yeah, let's get started. Um, this tutorial is going to be on animation, um, so I'm just going to show you how to put images um, and like uh, keep repeatedly um, putting images on the surface to give the effect that um, the uh, thing is moving. So what I've done is I've created a folder called animation. If you are following along like um, through the tutorial, through the tutorials, I would recommend you watch my previous tutorials before you um, watch this one. Um, but um, yeah, so um, if you if you aren't if you um, if you've just watched this video as a one-off, um, you will need to write this all this code. Um, and obviously you'll want to make sure you have Pygame installed. And so I've just created this window file and um, that's all the code for that. That's just creating a blank window. If I press F5, just um, creates a blank window here, uh, which we can work with. And um, and so, uh, yeah, we're basically importing Pygame and we're initializing Pygame and then we're creating a window setting the caption and we're storing a tuple in this black variable that's just the color black got a game loop and basically while the game loops true we're gonna repeat through this and um, this is just testing for the events um, and we are going to be doing we might this we may this tutorial put in some arrow key functionality um, but I don't know at the moment I think we'll focus on the animation first and um, just filling the window with a with the black color up here, and um, then we're updating the display. Okay, and so what I'm going to do for this is I'm just going to copy this into this animation folder I've made, and you'll want to create a folder. Just call it whatever you want. I just call mine animation. Rename this file. Oh, hang on, no. Um, just rename it animation, and. Um, you want to create a folder called images and in here I've just got two Mario sprites um, just for the purpose of the tutorial just to show you some animation they've just got two images and you can see um, we're gonna make Mario look like he's running um, and so let's open this up and start coding um, first thing we are gonna have um, gonna have to do for this um, is we are going to have to um, well I'll just show you first time dot clock right um, this this clock method thingy comes with Pygame the Pygame module and um, in the time module there's a clock um, method and um, we are basically storing that in this clock method now what this does is it enables us to play with time so we can um, like sort of restrict this loop to like a certain frames per second um, so the animation isn't really quick um, otherwise it would kind of crash our computer but um, what we want to do is underneath here we just want to um, type clock which as you can see here is our clock variable and we want to do dot tick and in the brackets you want to put anything really this is the frames per second um, you could put 30 or 40 or whatever I actually I'm gonna put 50 because that's quite a good frames per second that's kind of high kind of high rate if you've got like a quite slow computer you might want to put that slightly lower but I, it should be all right if you're using modern computer then that's fine um, okay so um, let's just run over this again this I'm creating a clock um, object here um, and storing it in the clock variable and we're just restricting to this whole loop to 50 frames per second so when we do animate um, it doesn't go root too fast that so we just can't see it um, so yeah we're restricting the movement now um, before I go on I'd like to explain how animation works basically within each frame we clear the window by filling it with a certain colour um, that's actually create a white variable um, this is an RGB colour by the way um, and uh, that if you um, if you put the full amount of red, green and blue just get white um, so that's what we're going to use here 
going to just type in white. So that will just, um, this will just create a, a white window, yeah. Um, and uh, so, what basically in each frame we want to clear the window, what, what anything that's already on the window we want to get rid of because that was like the last frame so we don't want that anymore and then what we'll do is we will blit our images actually we need to load our images first so uh, just go up here and type in um, Mario 1 my uh, images are called Mario1.png and Marion2.png you see they're PNG images there and their dimensions are 32 and 32 um, you, I just got these off the internet. Um, just search like Mario sprite sheet or whatever, or, or if you've got your own sprite, sprites, and that's fine. So, um, it's, yeah, we need to load these images. So we'll do m1 equals pygame dot image dot load, and in here we need to put images sl forward slash m1 dot ping, and uh, and we need to put these in quotes. Um, oh, let's put them in double quotes. I think I think it, you can use either single quotes or double quotes. I don't think it matters. And then we also need the other image. Um, so pygame dot image dot load um, images slash m two dot ping and uh, yeah. And we don't need that semicolon. Sorry, I've been doing a lot of Java recently got into my head putting in slow semicolons anyway um so uh yeah this this is just a directory so because because they're in a folder called images we just put images um slash m1 um dot ping if you can put them in the same folder and then just get rid of that but it really doesn't matter you just just write that and your file name and um we'll just put these together a bit and it's a good idea to use comments so you can you can um again how do you do a comment oh yeah um uh, mario sprites and um images sprites same thing um yeah so these are just loading the images and we'll just make sure we don't have any errors um no no errors that's good okay and now we are going to oh we're also going to make a final variable called um uh, uh, Mario come at an image. Now we could use classes, but I'm just trying to keep this um, tutorial simple. And um, so, uh, yeah, um, I might in a future tutorial I might show you how to make uh, like objects and classes and stuff. So, um, but for now let's just use this because since we've only got one Mario, it's fine. Um, so Mario current image we're going to set to one because we want the first images, first image is going to be Mario 1 and okay and now um, we are basically gonna do the rendering so we're gonna put in an if statement saying um, if Mario current image equals 1 then we want to um, oh, what am I doing <laughs> um, sorry window dot blit um, m1 See that's our uh, that's our uh, image here, and um, window doublet m1, and its coordinates can just be I don't know 10 10 for now. Um, we might actually in a in a later tutorial we might actually try and make a Mario game um, using Pi game, but for now I'm just going to show you the animation. And um, oh dear, <laughs> uh, window doublet um, Mario 2 and we'll put it at the same coordinates and um, there we go okay um, now obviously we want to um, uh, increment the uh, the current image every frame so we want to oh actually let's put that before um, oh no let's put it afterwards that's fine um, so we want to say if Mario current image equals 2 then we want to um, set Mario current image to 1 equals 1 and Ele else we'll just increment Mario current image 
So I will explain what I'm doing here. Um, be aware, in, in uh, Python, you can't use just this plus plus, which is in other very common in other programming languages. You, you have to do that. Um, I'm not quite sure why. I, it's something to do with the language. But anyway, um, yeah, you'll just want to write plus equals one at the end of that. So I will go over this, what this, what I'm doing here. Just save it, and hopefully that should work. Yeah, that is quite fast. Um, my screen recorder will probably not pick this up, like what I'm seeing right now. Um, but just try it yourself, and you'll see what it is. So um, we might want to, you know, put it down to, I don't know, uh, ten frames per second, and um, that will make it slower. Um, my screen recorder is recording at 9 frames per second, so um, yeah, that should look roughly what I'm seeing right now. Um, but yeah, that is the ba that's basically what we're making. So um, I'll go over what I'm doing again, so start from the beginning. I'm going to import the Pygame module, and we're going to initialize Pygame. And we're going to create a window and set the caption of the window. Uh, we can change this to animation. Um, just so looks quite nice. Um, black. We're just storing these two colours in a, two tuples. Black is zero zero zero. We're not actually using that, so we could get rid of that. Um, um, but um, white. We're going to need because we're using the white value here. That's just the colour. Um, clock. That's for the time. That's for limiting the frame rate. We're limiting it to ten frames per second there. And um, and uh, then we have got, we're loading the images and storing in two variables, M1 and M2, and there we go. And then we've got the Mario current image, that's very important. That's just storing one in it for the moment. Game like is true, so we just, I th you should know all this. If you don't understand this, then watch my, um, oh, I can't remember which one it is. Uh, I think it's win how to create a window in Pygame, maybe that one. Um, yeah, I think that's it. And um, that's just checking for the, the quit event. And um, and we fill the window with white, so we clear everything. So um, we get rid of whatever the previous frame was, the previous frame in this while loop. Um, so we just clear the screen. And then we draw our images. So we test the value of my current image. And if it's 1, which it is to start with, then we're going to put the um, Mario one image here onto um, onto the screen, and the coordinates are ten ten. That doesn't really matter. Um, and whereas if it's two, which it will be in the second frame because we increment it here, um, we are going to um, put the Mario two image, and uh, then we just increment the. Um, we, we change the value of Mario current image. So we're saying if it's two, then we want to put it back up to one. We don't want to make it three because that will generate an error. Well, it won't, but it won't work the way we want. And so we put it back to one. Um, hopefully you should understand that. And else, if if it's not two, if i.e. if it's one, then we just want to increment it, which will make it two. And then we just update the display, don't worry about that, it just updates the display, you have to do that every time, and um, then we limit this frame, well we limit the while loop to 10 frames per second, so yeah that's quite important, and then we quit out of the while loop, that's just for that bit. So hopefully you understand that, that's quite nice I think, and hopefully next tutorial we will, um, I'll put in how to um, use the keyboard so we can move this little guy around so um, yeah um, thanks for watching guys I hope you enjoyed if it did help a like is appreciated and please subscribe if you like my videos and um, yeah I'll see you in the next tutorial goodbye